Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx. Welcome back to Echoes of the Eye. We are going to get in the in the pit. In in I'm not gonna say the other thing that I was gonna say. We're gonna get in there though today, I promise. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, I have so many thoughts and so many feelings. Not all of them good, a lot of them quite sad, a lot of them quite kind of uh, morose and somber. I've been reading all of your comments, and thank you all for the comments, I love comments, I love reading. I read every single one without fail, I'm just sorry I don't have time to reply to them all. Some really cool points, some really interesting alternative takes to things that I've been saying that have kind of made me think about things. Number one, maintenance. Okay, this was a big thing that I've been talking about for a while. And um, how did they maintain the place and why did they stop? Irrespective of the how and the buts and the why, that wooden dam, the fact it's lasted more than like 200 years, that's impressive. Some of our concrete dams are not designed to live that long, and that's with continuous maintenance. So these freaklets are really, really good at building dams. They're really good at building everything. It's a miracle everything stayed upright as long as it has. Especially with the revelation with the painting. That I, I don't really want to give it too much time, that theory, because I feel like it's depressing. And I kind of want to make my own mind up when we get there. But the idea that they could potentially be old, like, old, like, no Maya babbies kind of old. That makes it even more impressive that everything is still standing. Some people have also brought to my attention why they maybe haven't woken up. Maybe they have just lived so long past their initial lifetimes that they have just, they've just, they've just died. Their physical bodies have died. And now all they have is a simulation. They can't wake up. They, they could never could wake up. They couldn't go back to the waking worlds to fix things because they just simply died of old age and withered away. And while there's nothing left for them to go back to, their minds are still very much alive and kicking. And that's even more heartbreaking for me. That's why they are so hell-bent on keeping this a place where they are safe and warm and welcome and free from all the worries of the waking world. When they scream, when they are forcefully ejected because of the flames being put out, that is their death cry. That's the end. And I feel like that's kind of really put things into perspective for me. It's This isn't a case of they got addicted. It wasn't a case of maybe they forgot. It could be as simple as they, they did. They did keep waking up. They did keep maintaining. They kept fighting. They kept trying. And their bodies just gave in. And now they're too afraid to let go. They're too afraid to embrace the void. I guess we'll have to find out. Well, I think one person, I've forgotten who it was in the comments, so forgive me, but someone said about the whole sacrifice thing, that the Nomai were willing to sacrifice everything. The Freaklets already did. And I think that's a really good way to think about this. I know there's the argument that technically the Nomai haven't sacrificed anything because the plan was they would just stop the project when they knew where the thing was and then everything would be fine. But in my mind, it's the idea that there was that initial idea of, now we're still going to blow it up. We're still going to do this. Everything else be damned. You know, irrespective of what happens, we're going to do it. Um, and after the fact, after they stop that loop, they still have to live with the fact that they did that millions of times, potentially. They they were willing to kill the Gala, to kill the soul system millions and millions of times if it meant them getting their answer. And don't get me wrong, I love the Nomai. I love them without fault. 
but they are not without faults, and I think that's something that's very important to kind of acknowledge. Because um, it's something we would do as a species, we would do that. In a heartbeat. We would. And it's something the Freaklets already did. Except theirs is permanent. And they have to live with it. Now one thing that isn't permanent is the fact that we kept getting caught. It is not going to be that way. We're gonna go. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have another look around that, that area that I keep getting stuck on where there's like the two paths. I do feel like there is a way of escaping them. There's gotta be a way of sneaking around that. I kinda I like the idea personally of being able to try memorize it and kind of do it completely blind. I think that'd be quite cool self-set challenge to do. Um, but I'm just, I'm trying to learn the limitations of the light and the Freakless ability to see me. Obviously if I just shine like the spotlight on them, they can see me. I need to know how far can I push that? Because in my mind, if I illuminate myself with even the smallest amount of light, they're going to see me. But I don't know if that's the case. And I'm almost scared to try and do any level of science to figure that out. Um, yeah, I, I genuinely don't know. I don't know what the best course for action is for that. So I, we're going to go have another look. Um, hopefully this time. Also... Can we just admire that landing? There wasn't a clunk. I did that so smoothly. Um, we'll go and have a look around. So if I can do it from the angle where we can kind of use the shortcut, I feel like I know the area a little bit better. Uh, I'm still scared though. I'm still scared. I feel like the you know the. What's it called? Like the music house, as I've been calling it, has been relatively stress free, right? Because we've done it. We, we did it without really running into any of the frequents. You have the time to do that. This one, you do not have the time to do that. You very much have to do this while they're alive and kicking. And I mean, God, I would be just as hell-bent on finding an intruder imagine that imagine if you knew you know say there was you and four or five friends and you're having a sleepover and then midway through the night there's not just a power cut but you you know for a fact that the only way for that power to be cut is for something to interact with the thing like you got like a circuit breaker you know and you know that's the only way for the power to go out and you know where all five of your friends are. I would wet myself, first of all. Um, and I don't think I would even be brave enough to go looking for it if I was a freak. I think I would stay in my perch. Personally, I don't think I would even go looking for a little great goblin. I wouldn't have the guts. So, hats off to the freaklets for being braver than I am. I do want to know how old they are, though, um, as a species. I am starting to lean into the idea that these are, even by no my standards, unfathomably ancient and old. Well, they could not be. They could just be as old as the Nomai. I don't know. And again, if you do know, no spoilers. We are getting so close now to the end of the game. It's so refreshing to have been able to do this properly and without getting it spoiled because the community is amazing i can't thank you guys enough um i only just realized i have started being referred to in conversations right in the same conversations in which people like nerd cubed and about oliver and soviet womble have been referred to What's that about, guys? Like, the fact that I am being held up there with such esteem as these YouTubers that I myself watch and love, it means a lot to me. So thank you all. Genuinely. 
I just, I'm still just a little baby YouTuber who doesn't really know what I'm doing. But that's fine. Right, so. Come down here. Hang on, I'm going to practice this. I'm going to practice this. Right, so. Come down here. Take a right. Keep walking. And then I'll hit this. But I'm not even going to be able to see that. I think... I almost... Uh, no, 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 no. Right, so. I don't even go across there. I've been doing it wrong. I've been trying to cross there. Right, so what we need to do... We need to come down here. Take a right. Have a quick check. Take another right. I I feel like that rock might be able to like block our line of sight. So if I can get here, turn right, right, waltz around here. Oh, this is gonna be janky as hell. Oh, I don't like this, guys. I really don't like this. I don't think I I'm really scared about this. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. So even if I do this right out of yeah. So even with my light out they can still see me very much so. I'm trying to think how to get past them. I don't feel like I know them enough to be able to get through them. But there's only one way to really find out about that, and that's just to get on with it, I think. So I need to extinguish that, although to be fair, everything's going to be extinguished anyway. That's the sails deploying, so we still have plenty of time. I don't like the music in the cove. It's a little bit on the spoopy side. I feel like it's unneeded amounts of spookiness. I do think it'd be quite interesting to see if I can get back up the free clits kind of elevators sometime. Like do a little bit of, you know, a little bit of myth busting after the fact and try get in there. I want to know, like, what what's that sign say? I wish I could read. I just, I just wish that I could read. Just a little bit. You know, just some basic Harthian would be quite nice to know, I think. Basic Harthian? I am a Harthian. What am I talking about? Basic Freaklet. Oh, there we go. Yep, we go. Right. I'm so not ready. Can you tell how not ready I am? Is there anything else up here? So there's that. Uh, no, 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 no. No, that was an accident. <laughs> I'm fine. I've got two legs anyway. I don't need one of my shins. Yeah, I do love the alarm bell system just as a thing. Come back here. That's such an ingenious kind of soft way of protecting stuff. You know, if if a thing is so reliant on light, like I am, have the alarm set to trigger it from light. Because I think these outlets. These freaklets, these whatever, I think they are relatively able to see in the dark, like actual owls. But no way near enough. No way near enough. Mm, right. Let's get over here before they even have a chance to get down. Luckily, there's like 
a whole bunch of stuff for me to not run into things. Uh, fences, that's the word. Okay. 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 Part one of the heist complete. Now, I'm either going to completely look my way through this or we're going to get jump scared to hell. I'm going to hug the right. No! Oh. Or fall in the water. That's option number three, I guess. I thought I could hug the water. I cannot hug the water. Hug the water, hug the wall. You know what I'm trying to say. Well, wasn't a jump scare, strictly speaking. Don't mind me, fellas. I'm just walking here. You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm just a little fella walking. No, 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 no. He's no, 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 no. Oh, son of a bitch. <gasps> right, how am I going to get him away from there? No, I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. Right, how am I going to get him away from there? I heard the music change. I was like, that does not bode well for me. Right, so. I think, get to the bridge, shine a light in, skulk off to the side, right? You see where I'm going with this? He's going to get sick of me very, very quickly. He's going to be like, you again, you goddamn... They're all old. They've all got granny voices and granddad voices. They're all going to sound like Eska. I like that. I like that idea. Right. Big, big brave pants. Big brave pants. Yeah, you. Come on then. I swear to God. No. 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 I think we did it. I would very much prefer it if there was some light in here. Okay, things are about to get a little bit tippy. So there's... No, no, no. Oh, you've got... Kidding. You've got... Kidding. Oh, hell no. I didn't know they were here too. I don't know how to get there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know they were here. I didn't know they were here. I'm so afraid. I've backed myself into a corner. Please, I did so well. I thought I did so well. I can't remember where I need...
I'm risking it. I'm risking it. I'm risking it. Shit. How? Where? What do I do? I'm not even going to think about that other elevator yet. I'm just getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I've got this far. I need to get further. I can do that another time. That must just be how they got down there. That's all that elevator is. Yes! Please. Of course you are. Of course you are. There's so many to look at. Right, so we've got the eye. Got another another thing about the glitches. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's have a look at the glitches first. See if it's the same reel or if this is going to be a different story. Don't you dare tell me what's happening to them. There's no brain for them. They're not even alive anymore. This isn't even them. These things we're seeing aren't even them. It's a copy, it's a backup. I think they've been dead a long time. Never mind, they are alive. This is an afterlife for them. Oh, that hit me in the feels. What's this one going to do? I've got a feeling this is going to be a wrecking ball.
The eye never stopped calling, they stopped people hearing it. That's what that... That's what the probe is. But we can't... But we can't turn it off. I don't think, how... No, right now, how do I? I'm. Where, what do I do now? How do I get back? I need to get back out there. God, there's so many. That is just within reach. And I can't... I can't reach <laughs> They're right here. <laughs> they saw what it would do. I'm gonna quicker than you. I don't think that achieved anything other than getting me incredibly stuck, but you know, I could dream. God damn it. That's fact it's not fit. That's okay then. I'm just I'm just looking now. I'm just being nosy. For the sake of being nosy. I'm trying to see if there's anywhere... If there's any like shortcut or anything? Oh, I'm royally stuck now. Right, I'm gonna have to go back up here. I thought there'd be something that I could interact with up here. But no, I cannot. Am I just gonna have to like jump out? Right. If I... If I... So I'm just trying to think whether the... Because there was the... Wah, 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 the alarm thingy. Hello, gentlemen. Um, so if I... Oh, there isn't a raft here. I was going to try to get to the raft. But I can't, so I need to go somewhere else really quick and try to get to a raft, so then I can get to. Uh, I need to get back to that star area. So I, I think it's gonna just be a case of I just hide my lights like I have been doing, right? That feels like the correct thing to do. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Let's go this way. Try and get to the gorge. Well, the gorge is going to be the only place left standing in a minute. Or I could go to the artifacts. No, we'll just go to the, the artifact. Not the artifact. The thing. The place. The, the, the doohickey. The big... Coffin, sarcophagus, thing, bell, place. 
so I can just dive under there and go. That's probably just as quick as anything now. Yeah, that'd be much quicker. Why would they hide it? I mean, obviously they're, they're doing it to try and protect people, I guess. But you see right at the end of their vision, you see the flower. You see that hidden bit of lore that they, that they stop seeing it. So I don't know if that's like, they, they were just so afraid that they stopped watching. They didn't give it time to show them everything. I think that's maybe the case. I think if they just if they just watched just a little bit longer is all they would have needed. Now I just need to go test the theory and see if this is how I'm actually going to get across here. Because otherwise I'm a little bit stuck. Yeah, that's all l light. How am I meant to... There wasn't a password... ...to turn off the light. So how... I... I don't feel like I've actually learned how to do this one. It's got to be something else with the simulation. There's got to be something else. There's got to be another way in. Because I was hoping that these codes would be there, but they're not. So I can't turn out the sodding light. You better be worth all of this effort. You better be. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. I... I this one better have it. This this one better actually have it not destroyed. Because I don't know what to do. In my mind, it was telling me, that, like, it's just wild goose chase after wild goose chase. When we first opened that sarcophagus, like, we got to the sarcophagus, and I thought, right, this is it. This is where we need to be. Then it wasn't. Then I needed to go to each of these places in complete darkness, right? To find the key. And then you go to these places to find the key and they've already destroyed it. So what's the point? Where are the passcodes? Can I even find the passcodes? I don't think I can. I'm just praying that the last one we go to does actually have it. And I'm aware that I now have to go to the last place. I have to go to the Endless Canyon or whatever it is, and I have to go there and I have to walk around the mansion in complete darkness. And I am really not looking forward to that. It has at least answered the question about what happens to them when they died, you know, they are dead. They are, scientifically speaking, brain dead. There is no more activity going on in there. So they have been uploaded. It's the Matrix. It's, it's the Matrix, but kind of happier to them, almost. You know, it's their last refuge. It's a place they can go to die and to die peacefully. Whatever it is with that field, you know, when that old freaklet passed away. I don't know if it was the fields did that or if they just happens to time it just right. And again, it's this, it's this back and forth. It's this kind of almost like table tennis between happiness 
and complete despair and dread. But that's why they've stayed then. So they've stayed here because they're connected to the probe that is hiding, is concealing the eye. All this time, the Nomai haven't been able to find it because the Freaklets hid it. They were here before the Nomai. And all the hardship that the Nomai have endured is because the Freaklets hid it. But it could have spared them something so much worse, I think. It's not going to be long before we get back into this again. I need more. I need answers. I need them now. But for now, that's all I've got time for. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been an honour. As usual, I have been Sturks. You've been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure. <laughs>